British Land has established a very strong track record in developing great landmark buildings throughout the United Kingdom. Over the last 10 years, we've developed something like 4 million square feet of mixed-use projects. Our approach is to develop well-conceived buildings, buildings that people want to work in, they want to shop in, and they want to live in. It's important to provide buildings that provide the right quality of accommodation, the right flexibility to allow occupiers to develop and grow within that space. We've placed an increasing emphasis on developing sustainably, something that's of increasing importance to our occupiers. Our customers are looking for flexibility, quality of accommodation, but at a price they can afford. So it's places where people actually want to be. That's the same in office as well as in retail. Shoppers are increasingly looking for a greater variety of space. They want a mix of convenience and experience shopping. They want places where they can eat, they can rest, they can have coffee. We want to increase those leisure facilities that our occupiers and our customers are seeking. We believe that our development programme is an important way of driving performance and enhancing shareholder value. We've capitalised on the shortage of investment funding available for developments. This has allowed British Land to start developments at a time when others weren't. Our strong balance sheet has enabled us to commit to £1.2 billion into the development programme, and we propose to maintain that level of investment. We're managing our development risk in a number of ways. Firstly, by developing a balanced programme between offices, residential and retail. We're also managing our risk by joint ventures, for example, at Leadenhall, where we entered into a 50-50 joint venture with our partners Oxford Properties. And at Whiteley, our 50-50 joint venture with USS, we pre-let over 90% of the accommodation by the time the centre was opened. Pre-letting is an important tool in our ability to manage risk. We are very pleased with progress we have made to date. I think it's a tremendously exciting time at British Land. We have one of the largest development programmes in central London. Roughly 50% of our developments are in the city and 50% in the West End. That's part of our strategic move to increase our investment into the West End, where we believe we will secure attractive long-term investment returns. During 2013, we'll complete our West End developments, including 39 Victoria Street, Marble Arch House, Brock Street and the Triton Building, and our residential development at Craven Hill Gardens. In 2014, we'll complete two of our major city developments, the 600,000 square foot Leadenhall building and our 700,000 square foot five Broadgate building. As well as progressing our current development programme, we've been working hard on restocking and replenishing the pipeline. That includes our purchase of the Clarges estate, where we're proposing a 200,000 square foot high-end residential-led development. We've recently bought Paddington Central, which provides an opportunity to revitalise and enhance your estate and provide further new development. A further addition to the development pipeline is the Shoreditch Estate, where after a competitive bidding process, British Land was selected by the Corporation of London as its development partner. We're also increasing our retail development programme across the UK and have recently completed Whiteley and our cinema and leisure complex at Glasgow Fort. At Hereford, we're developing a 300,000 square foot shopping centre. In retail developments, it is critical to identify locations where there's a supply constrained market and where you can provide the right types of units that don't currently exist at the moment. As we continue to grow the business, it's important that we continue to work with our occupiers to provide space that our occupiers want.